one of the oldest towns in South Carolina, Conway is the quintessential all-American hometown with the charm and grace of a historic Southern community. So it stands to reason that there are plenty of pros of living in Conway, South Carolina, yet there are some cons. So if you are considering making a move here to the Myrtle Beach area and you have Conway on your radar, well, you're gonna wanna stick around because I wanna be sharing with you the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly of what it's like to live here in Conway, South Carolina. And we're gonna be getting after it right now. Hey, YouTube family, I'm Jeff Bueller with Living in Myrtle Beach. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living, working, playing, and living that beach lifestyle, or the Conway lifestyle, you have come to the right place. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell. This way you're notified on all things living in Myrtle Beach and Conway. Today, we're talking about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly of what it's like to live here in Conway, South Carolina. Now, before I get started, I do want to give a huge shout out to all the amazing people that we've been able to successfully help make their move here to the Myrtle Beach area and Conway. If you too are wanting to make a smooth move here to Conway, whether it's in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, best yet schedule that Zoom call, we'd love to meet you. Okay, if you're wanting to make a move to an area that has a hometown feel, a real sense of community and a focus on family, that's exactly what you're gonna find here in Conway, South Carolina. And I gotta tell you, it's because of its people and their Southern hospitality. Now, this actually may come as a big culture shock for a lot of people who are coming from other areas of the country, especially if you're moving here from a major metropolitan area or a large city. As I'll tell you, when you're out and about, especially in downtown Conway, and you're stopping into any of the local boutique shops, the restaurants and businesses, you're gonna be greeted with a warm smile and, and friendly faces. It is the Southern hospitality here. It is still vibrant. It still exists and it is contagious. And that's certainly a major pro in my book. Now let's talk about the proximity to Myrtle Beach and the area beaches. You are really getting the best of both worlds by living in Conway as you're away from the hustle and bustle of Myrtle Beach, of the tourism, yet you're only within 15 miles to Myrtle Beach and to the area beaches. Now, you will have to contend with Highway 501 and its traffic. I've actually have shared a video of a Google map tour of Conway showing you some alternative routes around 501 that will get you to some of the more local beaches along Myrtle Beach. So this can be a pro. But the reality is living in Conway on a daily basis, it's likely that you're gonna have to travel Highway 501. And I gotta tell you, the traffic there can be a bear. There seems to always be an accident on 501 and it's just not that fun. So though you are getting the best of both worlds because you are away from the hustle and bustle of things, but if you are the person who is thinking that you want to be able to go to the beach on a regular basis, plant your beach chair, you know, wiggle your toes in the sand, again, you're only gonna be within 15 miles, which equates to about a 30 to 40 mile drive. Of course, depending upon the time of day and the time of year, when we're talking about seasonality with traffic, and again, there are some alternative routes around that. So be sure to look at the uh, map tour video of that, but you will have to contend with Highway 501 traffic. And so I'm gonna give that part, we're gonna split the difference on that one for a pros and cons of living in Conway, South Carolina. I would imagine as you are trying to determine whether you should move to Conway, South Carolina, well, affordability and housing is likely at the top of your list. 
Well, great news is I'm here to tell you that the cost to live in Conway versus the cost to live in Myrtle Beach is about 50% less. The current median sales price in Conway is just under $300,000, circling right around $275,000, where as you go closer to the beach and into Myrtle Beach, the current median sales price is over $400,000. So that's a big savings to be only 15 miles to the beach. Now, the housing cost may be a little bit cooler in Conway versus living in Myrtle Beach. But when we're talking about the weather, it's actually anywhere from three to five degrees warmer to live inland in Conway versus living in Myrtle Beach. And of course, that's because of the ocean breeze that does help keep, keep things a little bit cooler at the beach in comparison to being in Conway. And I'll tell you, in the heat of summer, those few degrees can make a huge difference. So that's certainly a con for living in Conway, South Carolina. Another con we're gonna address are the mosquitoes and bugs. Now, we have to keep in mind that Conway is surrounded by rivers and swamps which are basically breeding grounds for mosquitoes and noceums. And if you're not familiar with noceums, well, they're tiny one to three millimeter little biting flies. And for me in the evening time, especially if it's a bit wet out and you know we're, we're near the river, we're near some of those kind of swamp areas, they just tend to get at my ankles and eat me alive and I am checked out and out of there so be sure to have some essential oils or some type of bug spray in the evening time because those mosquitoes and especially those nasty little noceums can tear you up now another con for living in conway south carolina is there is no question that the myrtle beach area and conway are no strangers to storms and severe weather and so we're talking about hurricanes and flooding. It is a reality. And as a matter of fact, oftentimes Conway can take a little bit more of the brunt than or be more affected than Myrtle Beach, especially when we're talking about flooding. Because again, it is surrounded by rivers and swamps. And those rivers are tidal, which makes a huge difference, makes a huge impact when we have those big heavy rains. Even if it has, even if North Carolina has heavy rains, then all that water has to flow down through the PD River, through the Waccamaw, and that can cause some flooding. And of course, like Hurricane Florence in 2018 and the thousand year flood that we saw in 2015, which did create some devastation throughout Conway. So that can certainly be something that you need to be aware of and can be a big CERN and probably really one of the biggest cons for living in Conway, South Carolina. If the pros outweighed the cons for you to live in Conway, South Carolina, and you want to call this historic riverfront town home, this is where you want to live, work, play, and do business. Well, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule that Zoom call. We'd love to meet you. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you in Conway.